We are in Franklin, Tennessee today at this Barn Dominium Airbnb that you can come check out for yourself. This is my favorite Barn Dominium ever. It is grand, it is majestic, and it makes you feel like you are in a movie. This place is absolutely huge. It sleeps a lot of people. So let's not waste any time and let's go check out this Barn Dominium Airbnb in Tennessee. If you want to book this Airbnb for yourself and you want to stay here and come check it out, the links are down below. I highly suggest coming to check this place out. When you first arrive at Idle by the River Farm, you're greeted by your private gate system. Uh, this is the beginning to your luxurious getaway, Burn Dominium Airbnb. They'll give you a keypad code and the gate will automatically open up for you and now you enter onto this grand, beautiful property, this driveway that leads right up to your Airbnb is very beautiful and there's open land all around. This house right here is the owner's house, so they're right here at all times if you ever need anything or have any issues and then you'll just drive right past that and you'll see the driveway that leads right up to your Barn Dominium Airbnb. It looks very majestic, especially with this driveway that leads right down the middle to your Airbnb. And you have the fencing on both sides and then even the two trees at the end of the driveway. This just all ties in and really makes you feel like you are in a movie. This barn dominium is very private. You are on this huge piece of property, basically all by yourself. It's not like there's other Airbnbs or anything on this property. You can listen outside and you can't hear anything except the river and maybe some of the cows over on the field. So if you like cows and watching cows, they're very cute roaming out there. This is a very open and private uh, terrain. I loved this day a lot. This is one of my favorite Airbnbs just in general so far. Everything about this place was top-notch and the perfect getaway, especially you could stay here for a week actually or just a couple days. This is one of the few Airbnbs that I think you could stay here for a week or two at a time and be totally comfortable. There is a total of five beds in this Airbnb, so you could sleep a lot of guests. You can bring your whole family and friends here. You could probably sleep a total of nine or 10 guests here very, very comfortably, and that's not including the couch or anything like that. You'll start off your stay by parking in front of your Airbnb, and then you can just look up at your barn dominium. It might hurt your neck a little bit because it is so huge and you actually have to move your head around to look at the entire barn dominium. It is very, very awesome. I love the textures and the colors on the outside of this. They remodeled this barn to make it look like this and to make it an Airbnb and a livable place. And I think the owners did a fantastic job. I love the white and the sky blue accents and just all the wood that covers all of this and all of the textures and even this built out section over here on the right side of the barn dominium. This is actually your kitchen and outdoor space over here. And you actually don't get the entire barn dominium because that would be way too massive for any size family, I would say. One side is an event space, I believe. You could probably do some weddings here. I'm not too sure. But the other half over here on the right side is your Airbnb stay. You can see this is the front door that you enter to over here. It is the sky blue as well. And you actually get this whole half, even on the outside, of this barn dominium. There's lots of outside things to enjoy, but we'll save that for last. Let's take a step on the inside of this Airbnb and you'll walk right into this front door and we'll start there. You'll walk right into your foyer area, so this is definitely a good place to get ready and keep all your jackets and everything like that. I'm here in February and it is very, very cold, so this is where you can keep all your stuff down here. There's even a small bench down here to you know tie some shoes on. And then you have your grand staircase that leads up to the main area. This is a huge staircase. I 
This is one of my favorites because you have these huge wooden slabs for the steps, you have this black metal railing in between it, and just all the textures and wood. It's definitely very cozy and comfortable in here. And you walk up these steps and then you enter into your grand living space. Your living space is huge and open. It is a farmhouse slash cottage style uh, vibe in here, which is one of my favorites. I love the coziness of farmhouse and cottagey, and you definitely get that with the stay. The first thing you would walk into on the left side is kind of a reading area, a hangout lounge area. It is on the left side of your stairs, and you have this huge bookcase. This is probably one of my favorite pieces in this entire stay. I love all the decor they choose. It is all <laughs> very top notch, and you can tell there was a lot of thought into it, and a lot of these pieces are not cheap, so it's very luxurious and comfortable stay. But this bookcase is incredible. I love the wood and the design of it. It just looks like I need it in my own office. <laughs> but you can open up and get some books. They offer lots and lots of books here actually. And then you can come over here on this couch and chill here and enjoy your time. You, I love this green coffee table they have right in front of it. And this is just a little nook area. They have this huge opening that actually lets you look out into the windows that were above the stairs and you can look out into the open pasture of the cows and all the open scenery around you. You can take a step out of that and then we'll actually enter into your main area which is your living room space and your kitchen space. This all kind of flows into one piece and over here in the living room space is a couch and a couple seating options right here. This huge coffee table in the middle. This all faces your fireplace and your TV. The TV is above your fireplace and I love the stone all around this. And I actually love that they even have a fireplace in here. It's very cozy and there's lots of room for people in here. On both sides of the fireplace are these huge wooden doors. It looks like you're in a castle or something. And the left one is locked, so it's probably some cleaning supplies or something in there. And the right one is just a small closet with your Wi-Fi and stuff in it. But all of this tied together makes this place look beautiful. And then you got the stairs over here on the right side. We'll get to that in a bit but over behind your living room space is your kitchen. This is my favorite kitchen I would say I've ever been to or had. Definitely taken inspiration for myself in this kitchen. It is huge for one and it is so bright. I love all the windows that wrap around this entire kitchen. These are very simple windows, but they've added so much and they're all lined up perfectly and that just lets in a ton of natural light and you get good views of your surrounding area. Over here on the right is your actual kitchen space. You have a small dining table right here in the middle and four leather seats and I love the lights that hang above it. And then you have your huge fridge over here. You have your gas range oven. It is a double oven so you can cook multiple things at the same time and just all the cabinets that go all the way up to the ceiling. You can't even reach up that high but that just tells you how much cabinet space there is in here. And we'll continue along. You have your microwave above this. You have your coffee maker over here. And then the rest of your countertop is this beautiful white marble, I believe. It is a matte finish, I believe, which is really gorgeous, I think. It's not really reflectant in the light and it looks very natural and it feels really solid and good. It just blends in with all the cabinets and just the rest of the wood in the house because the wood's kind of dull and it just looks fantastic. They even provide Le Cresset, I think that's how you say it, pots and pans, which is a very, very nice set of cast iron pots and pans. So very fancy, I love it. I love having access to that kind of stuff in this Airbnb. Then you have your beautiful farmhouse apron front sink right here. It is huge and it just faces all the windows. And then you even have a dishwasher over here on the left side. Now on the other side is another small booth dining area. Half of it is a booth in this corner right here and they have this gorgeous wooden table right here with some wooden chairs. And with that, combined with your other dining table, add seating for a lot of people. Eight comfortably, probably a couple more. And then right in the middle is this door that leads out into your patio area. Let's take a step out here and check it out. 
walk out here, it is a huge patio area with a massive dining table in the middle. Perfect place to have dinner at on the summer evening or spring or fall evening with your family and friends. Let's take a step back inside and we'll finish this main level and you will walk around this corner right here and you have this huge hallway with these windows that uh, look out into your patio area. And the first door actually here on the left is a washer and dryer, but you pass that and then this is actually your master bedroom. You walk into this master bedroom, you have this huge king size bed in here. I have a king size bed in my house, but this king size bed felt a little bit bigger for some reason. It is huge, and I love the wood that they have all on these walls right here. And just to take a look at the ceilings, these are massive ceilings in here. It's like 15 or 20 feet up, and they continue the wood beams in this house, in this room as well. And then there is your master bathroom off of this bedroom as well walk right in you have your vanity at the very end it is a beautiful piece of woodwork i would say and to the left of that is your walk-in shower i love the tiling in here it is very large in here as well no need to squeeze like maybe in a tiny house and one thing to note is i love this rope handle in the glass door i love that little tiny feature a lot and then in this door is your toilet so you could actually be using the toilet privately while somebody else is in the shower or something so let's take a step out of the master bedroom now and we'll head upstairs to the rest of your living space and you will walk up these stairs that are off in the living room and it's these huge slams of wood again identical to the stairs that you walk into one thing to note about these actually you can't see it at all but the edges of the steps are slightly slanted so they're not perfectly blocks I believe this is to help you take a step up each step it was highly enjoyable to walk up these steps believe it or not that having that little feature so one cool thing to note but we'll walk up and now we enter into the hallway area. The first door on the right is your first bedroom. This bedroom just screams fairy tale, I think. You have your bed right in the nook against these windows over here. It is the definition of cozy, being surrounded by these walls in your bed and having this whole wall be windows that lets you look outside. And then on one side is this bookshelf over here. You can have all your books and then you can just lay back here and read. And this spot is just one of my favorite spots and underneath the bed is some storage area. Even over here on the right side is this beautiful wardrobe piece of furniture and it blends right in with the rest of the home. It is vintage, it is cottagey, it's beautiful. And then you have a walk-in closet over here as well. So this is the dream fairy tale bedroom or dream cozy bedroom. We'll take a step out of that and continue down the hallway. You can see that this door leads right into your next bedroom. This bedroom is a lot larger. There's two beds on each side of this middle window. They're really large beds. And then on the other side, you have a small twin bed in this corner in case you have a small child or something that can pop right into this bed. As we take a step out of that, we'll go around the bend of this hallway. And then the first door on your left is your bathroom for up here. This bathroom is where your clawfoot bathtub is located. You can't go wrong with having a bathtub in your Airbnb, especially a barn dominium, farmhouse, cottagey vibe. We'll take a step out of that and we'll enter into your last bedroom at the end of this hallway. This is a simple bedroom with a bed. You got some books over here as well. You'll notice that there is this red flag hanging up over here. This is actually the state flag for Tennessee. So I had to look that up because I was really curious what this flag was, but it's actually just the state flag. And it's just blocking up this electrical box in here. So that's what they did up here. My favorite part of this room is this tiny window over here. Uh, just the way the light flows in through this bedroom into this tiny window is just something unique and it just feels good up here. So that is your living space up here and three bedrooms total and a bathroom. So you can sleep a lot of people up here. So that is your barn dominium. It feels massive, like I said, and there's a whole other space to this barn dominium that we don't have access to. So this is definitely plenty of space if you ask me and very private, but we're not done yet. There's actually a lot on the outside that this Airbnb offers. So let's go check that out. We'll walk outside and you'll take a turn around the corner 
and this is where your outdoor space is at. Right under your kitchen and outdoor patio over here is another outdoor patio that is all outside. There's lots of chairs or down here. There's a cornhole set down here. You have a swinging bed and then even a swinging bench out here. During February when I was here, this is, it was very, very cold. I'm actually here right before the February ice snowstorm that hit basically the entire country. So it is very, very cold here. I wasn't out here enjoying this, but in the summer or any other time really, you would be out here enjoying this. Now one very awesome thing that this barnuminium has is its own chicken coop. Now it says fresh eggs on the outside of this. I believe in the mornings you can come out here and get your own fresh eggs for your breakfast uh, for your family and friends and stuff like that, which is very awesome and a great thing to add and fitting for a barn dominium. When we got here, there was actually fresh eggs in the refrigerator for us, so we made some eggs for breakfast. I love the small details like that in Airbnbs that make it feel way more special. Out here, you got all the fencing and all the cows over here on the other side, and then just endless open fields back here in the back. This is now the back of your barn dominium. You have a small fire pit out here, actually. You can chill out here with your family and friends and enjoy the company and the views. But the back of the barn dominium looks beautiful as well. Matches the front, basically. You got these huge barn doors that are the sky blue, and it just all looks beautiful out here. So with all of that being said, located in Franklin, Tennessee, you're in this Barnuminium Airbnb located right outside of town, but you feel so private with the open pastures and the beautiful landscaping and beautiful design on the inside. Props to the Airbnb hosts because they designed and built this place very, very well. I took a lot of inspiration for myself. I would definitely want to come back. I messaged my mom and said, hey, we need to bring our family here in the summer for a small getaway. And she was all up for it. That's how much I like the space because I liked it a lot. So highly suggest this place. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. Consider subscribing. Uh, share this video with your friends and family if you want to come here and check this place out. And guys, I'll see you next week.